Hi everyone, it's Abhinav from Phone Bunch and today we are taking a look at gaming on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 2 Prime. Now this one comes with the MediaTek Helio X10 Octa-Core processor with PowerVR G6200 graphics. 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of onboard storage. App and app data are not movable to the external SD card. So let's have a look at the initial temperature. It's about 33 or degrees in the front and back and we are in a non-AC environment. So the first game we are playing is Riptide GP2 and we are playing this game in balanced mode. You can see that the gameplay is very smooth. Now I'll keep changing modes and inform you of that as well. We'll check if this phone heats up in performance mode or not. Now we are moving on to Frontline Commando D-Day. Again we are playing this game in balanced mode and you can see that the gameplay again is quite smooth here. Yes there is a bit of jerkiness in the frame rate. But again, it is very playable. You can switch to performance mode anytime again. Smooth gameplay till now. The colors actually look very good on this display. The touch response is also very good. The speakerphone is actually very loud. It's quite clear as well. Now we are playing Subway Surfers. And here too, consistent frame rates. Very smooth gameplay. The touch response, as I said earlier as well, is pretty good. The color reproduction from the display again looks nice. Now we are moving on to a bit heavier game. This is Asphalt 8 and we are playing this game in high settings. I have also turned on performance mode because in balance mode there was a slight hint of lag. And right now you can see there is no lag whatsoever. I haven't noticed any major frame drop till now either. Consistent frame rates here, very smooth gameplay. Good touch response, the display looks good. It has wide viewing angles as well, which definitely helps. So we have been playing games for more than 7 odd minutes now. And we'll check temperatures after playing this game. Very smooth gameplay here. It's actually quite enjoyable. I do feel that the phone is getting slightly warm at the back and in the front as well. Let's check temperatures now. So you can see it's about 45 odd degrees in the front and at the back again it's around the 45 degree mark. So yes this phone does get a bit hot with extended gaming especially in performance mode. Now we are playing Dead Trigger 2 again I have switched to high quality and performance mode is still on. Again Dead Trigger 2 is playing well. Now even in balance mode Dead Trigger 2 didn't have an issue. It played very well. Very smooth gameplay here, great touch response as well. The colors really look good on this display as I said earlier as well. The speakerphone is quite loud which definitely helps. Consistent frame rates here too, no major lag whatsoever and I don't feel this phone is getting that hot. It's actually cooled down from before. So gameplay looks nice on this phone at least till now we are going to push it some more. Now we are shifting to Leo's Fortune. Again, this game looks really nice. We have a 5.5 inch 1080p display here. So graphics look really sharp. Colors look really good here. And again, smooth touch response. So gameplay really shines on the smartphone. MediaTek Helio X10 is really performing well. And you can see in Need for Speed Most Wanted as well. Very smooth gameplay, consistent frame rates right off the start. Now we have been continuously playing games for about 15 odd minutes now. And again this is still in performance mode and the phone has cooled down quite a bit. It's not heating up and again very smooth gameplay. The display also has wide viewing angles. There is no distortion in brightness or colors and you can see that this phone didn't heat up. So it's just about 43 odd degrees in the front and back. In a non-AC environment, it's actually very acceptable. Now we are moving on to Nova 3 and we are again playing this game in performance mode because in balance mode, there was a slight hint of lag. So again, gameplay is very smooth here. You can see that while panning across, zooming in, there are no issues whatsoever. Now Nova 3 is known to lag on many smartphones but you can see that it's absolutely consistent. No frame drops till now either. Good touch response from this display. Now you have the Power Series G6200 GPU which is powering the graphics on the smartphone 
and really shines here. In performance mode, there are no issues with gameplay with all the major titles that we have tried. Next up, we are moving on to FIFA 15. And again, right off the bat, you can see that the gameplay is very smooth. Colors look great on this display. Yes, the brightness could have been a little better here. And moreover, I've noticed that if the phone gets a bit hot, the brightness is actually reduced a bit sometimes. But yes, gameplay is still very smooth here as you see. Loud speaker phone, sharp graphics, everything looks great. The gameplay is really immersive here. Now we were playing FIFA 15 in balance mode and you can see that the temperatures have come down there about the 40 degree mark and at the back it's even less. So yes, in balance mode this phone doesn't get hot. Now we are continuing with the gameplay in balance mode. This is Modern Combat 5. It's the last game of our review and I do notice a little bit of lag while panning across and zooming in. So I'm going to switch to performance mode now. And you can see as soon as we switch to performance mode, everything becomes super fast. So again, consistent frame rates, no lag and no frame drop after switching to performance mode. So folks, that was our gaming review of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 2 Prime. It's excellent at playing all games. No matter which game you throw at it, it performs brilliantly. It has a very sharp display mode over the speakerphone is quite loud, which definitely makes gameplay more immersive. Yes, this phone does have a tendency to get a bit hot with extended gaming, especially if you are using the performance mode. In balance mode, most games are playable with slight hint of lag here and there, and there's no heating whatsoever. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions about this device, do hit us in the comment section. Now, chances of this mobile making it to India are actually very slim given Xiaomi's legal tussles. But you can pick one up for yourself from everbuying.net. I'll have a link in the description for that. Thanks for watching this video and as always have a great day.